26th. Pastor saying to us, saved by his resurrection. Our opening scripture comes from the book of Ephesians chapter 2 verse 8. For by grace are you saved through faith, and that not of yourselves, it is the gift of God. In Romans chapter 10 verse 9, the Bible says, If thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. It lets us know that the resurrection of Jesus Christ is where Christianity came from. To be a Christian, you've got to believe in the resurrection. If you don't believe in the resurrection, you can't believe in the death because the death had to occur before the resurrection. Actually, the best rendering of Romans chapter 10 verse 9 is, If you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus, believing in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you'll be saved. You may say, Pastor Chris, but it says you confess first and then you believe next. No, you believe first before you confess. That's the principle. The next verse explicitly clarifies it. For with the heart, man believeth unto righteousness. And with the mouth, confession is made unto salvation. Romans chapter 10, verse 10. Hallelujah. When you believe with your heart, you are made right with God. We believe in Jesus Christ and we were given right standing. And with the confession of his lordship, we were catapulted into salvation. That's a simple principle. Second Corinthians chapter 4 verse 13 says, We having the same spirit of faith, according as it is written, I believe and therefore have I spoken. We also believe and therefore speak. It shows that you believe and then you speak. Every man, woman, boy and girl ever born, and that will ever be born into this world, has already been legally saved by Jesus Christ. When he died, he died to save all humanity. But that salvation becomes a vital experience, active in the life of the one who believes. Not only that Jesus died, but that he was raised from the dead for our justification. Praise God. Please say this prayer with me. As we await the soon return of the Lord, may the clouds pour down righteousness continually. May the earth open up and salvation bear fruit and righteousness sprout with it, according to the word of the Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. For further study, please read Isaiah chapter 45, verse 8 of the New American Standard Bible. 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verses 12 to 19. John chapter 11, verse 25. For the one-year Bible reading plan, please read Matthew chapter 18, verses 15 to 35. And Exodus chapters 10 to 12. For the two-year Bible reading plan, please read Matthew chapter 10, verses 1 to 11. And Genesis chapter 26. Absolutely of reality.